In this video, we're going to talk about alpha decay, and that is when a parent nucleus decays into a daughter and an alpha particle. Now, um, if we assume that the parent nucleus became stationary, then the momentum of the system, of course, is zero. And so when the, when the split occurs, then of course the momenta of the daughter and the alpha have to be equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. And so we can happily say that the momentum of the daughter equals to the momentum of the alpha particle magnitude wise. Now, if we use the formula Ke equals to P squared over 2m, then we have a very interesting situation here, right? Because the momenta are equal, we can say that the kinetic energy is inversely proportional to the mass. And so we will have, of course, from here, a nice situation where we have Ke daughter over Ke alpha comes in the ratio m alpha over m daughter, which is basically just a fixed ratio. But here's the other thing. Now, because this is considered a nuclear reaction, if we look at the same alpha decay again and again, the total energy released must be always the same. And so we can say that in all situations, Ke alpha plus Ke daughter equals to the same total value. And this is where it gets really interesting. So if we combine these two conditions, right, the sum of the Ke of the alpha and daughter is always the same value, but the Ke of the daughter and the Ke of the alpha come in a fixed ratio, then of course it means that the Ke of the alpha particle released in this reaction is always going to be the same value if I look at the same decay again and again. And so we have over here uh, the Ke value. Um, <clears throat> we have over here, of course, the... Hold on, let me just get this right. Yes, right. We can have the Ke of the alpha particle here. Right, and then we have... Uh, sorry, number of alpha particles here. And we have Ke alpha here. Okay. It will just be the same value all the time. Okay, you can only have one Ke over there. 